Hi everyone, I'm Andrea and this is your Career Academy Tip of the Week. So this week we're going to do a walkthrough of Indeed.com, how you can start your account, upload or create a resume, and create a job search alert. So let's get started. So first go to Indeed.com to set up your account. And just so you know, if you already have an account and you just want to hear the information regarding uploading your resume or creating a job search, you can look at the timestamps below the video and click ahead. So first go to indeed.com and then click sign in. And this is the box that will show up. You can create an account with either your Google, Apple, or Facebook logins, or you can create your own by just putting in your email and then clicking continue. Next will pop up creating a password. So create a password and then sign in. If you already have an account and you forgot your password, then just click password and follow the instructions. Next, you're going to, they're going to ask you to upload your resume or create a new resume. So if you decide to upload your resume, you will upload a PDF version of your resume into Indeed, and that's what you'll use to apply to jobs. If you decide to create a new resume, you will fill in the Indeed template with your information. Now, you can also upload your resume and then turn it into an Indeed template if you'd like to. There are good and bad to both. Um, so if you upload your own resume, you'll have the look and the feel of your resume on there now, but the ATS system may not be able to read all of the information. If you ha fill out the Indeed template, it won't have you know different colors on it or different formatting techniques, but you'll know that the ATS system can read it because it's a simple format. Then decide if you want your resume to be public or private. If you want it to be public, your resume could be seen by employers when they do a search themselves. If you want it private, your resume would not be seen if an employer searched for candidates and you only have the ability to then uh, apply to jobs or that's when they would see it. Then they're going to walk you through just confirming your information. Uh, so that you'll confirm your name, you'll confirm your location, You'll confirm your most recent job. Then they'll ask what job category your role is, um, if it's what they suggest, or choose other if they don't have the correct field. And then confirm your highest education. And then they're going to have you confirm a skills list. Now they give you a bunch of skills from your resume that they think that you have. If you don't, want those on there then you can just click the trash can and then you can add other ones from the list below that one and then i'll ask you if you have any certifications or licenses and then put the names of those if you have them and then they'll start asking you what type of job you're looking for so the job title um, desired pay if you want to put that desi desired job type um, and type of work schedule and then you'll be done and then you'll continue to your profile to see how they updated it. And so this is an example of what it looks like of your profile. So you could see the uploaded resume is right here up at the top. And then they have your contact information and phone um, and then that information that you put in if you're ready to work and your job preferences. So if you decide that you want to create an Indeed template, just click on the three dots to the side, to the left side of that, where your upload a resume is, and then you can click convert to Indeed resume, which is will be right here in the menu that pops up. And then it will convert it. And this is what an example of what it would look like. Then you can go on to looking, how do you search for a job on Indeed? So up in the, left hand corner you'll see find jobs and go ahead and click on that and it'll bring you to a new page where you can search for a job title and the location and then it will also have some more search filters so the other filters are date posted which gives you the options of the last 24 hours or the last three days the last seven days and goes on and then remote if you wanted remote or temporary remote and then within 25 miles or more, you can select how many miles away, the salary estimate that you're looking for, 
the job type, which would be either full-time, part-time contract, and they give some more options. If there's a language requirement, the shifts and schedules you're interested in, the location, the company. So if you have a specific company that you wanna work for, then you would filter that to that. Your experience level, and then education level that is required for the job. Now, if you want to filter even more, you can go to the right side of the Find Job search area and click Advanced Job Search. And from there, you can put in even more information. So you can look for jobs that include certain words in the job description. Um, you can search for ones that don't, the words that you don't want. So maybe you want a sales job, but you don't want to do cold calling. You want maybe a certain type of sales that doesn't require that. Then you would put in um, with none of these words, and then you put cold call. And so you can continue to hone in on a certain job if you have a specific one in mind. Then it will show you the search results. If you liked that search that you just created, you can then put it into a job alert. And so the first thing that you do is click activate and then click job alerts active. And that will help you to edit your job alert because they will send it immediately. They will start sending as a default every day. So if you don't want to receive them every day or if you want um, a little bit more uh, added to the search, you can click job alert active to um, edit it. So here is what they offer. So make sure that you are um, clicking on this section right here with the job alert emails. Do you want them daily or do you want them weekly? So here you would click on it and then you would select weekly or daily. So if you go back to your home page and in the upper right hand corner, you can click on that person icon right there. And what will bring up is your profile and information that's more personal to you. So you can edit your profile, which has your resume, your contact information, and your job preferences. If you click on my jobs, you can see the jobs that you've applied for and what stage you are in for any of them that have moved forward. Under my reviews, you could see the reviews that you've given to other companies. Under settings, you can look at your account, your email address, device, and privacy. And then the Help Center will answer any frequently asked questions. All right, everyone, I hope that was helpful. If you need any assistance, please let us know, and I hope you have a good weekend.